What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Smash JT and holy crap E3 2019 floodgates have officially opened all the major companies have gone save for Sony who didn't attend in presentation form this year but now that the showroom floor is open people are walking around trying to figure out what's what there are still announcements coming and will be throughout the week this time we got something pretty wild that a lot of people including myself have been waiting for for a very long time and that is the title of the video the turbo graphics 16 mini or if you live in europe or japan the pc engine mini has officially been announced by konami which people might hear that and say wait konami didn't make the turbo graphics 16 but a company called nec did and hudson together and hudson back in the day merged with konami so in some weird twisted way Konami did kind of make the PC Engine TurboGrafx-16 looking back. There are some details to this thing, and it looks pretty exciting so far. Six titles have been announced. R-Type, Ease Book 1 and 2, New Adventure Island, Ninja Spirit, Alien Crush, and Dungeon Explorer. They didn't talk about how many games they'd be bringing to this, but they did say more would be added soon, and you could imagine Bonk's Adventure would be among them, because that's kind of like the Sonic to the Genesis and the Mario to the Nintendo. You gotta have Bonk's Adventure in there. So, yes, more games are coming. Interesting note that Ease Book is a CD-ROM based game, which means that just because it doesn't have the CD-ROM add-on, they're still putting the ROMs on it, which means that the book is still open for more CD-ROM from the Turbo Graphics to make their way onto this as well, not limited just to Turbo Graphics 16 carts. So that's all the information we have really about this right now. We got the look of it, we got a few games. And that's it. No release date, no price, no other surrounding information as to when more games will be announced. But as of right now, that's where we stand. The TurboGrafx-16 Mini has officially been announced. I'm starting to wonder at what point are there going to be too many of these mini consoles around. But I'm not going to complain because a lot of people missed out on the TurboGrafx-16 back in the day. It wasn't as readily available as the NES or the Master System. So a lot of people including myself, do want this thing in their house, a way to relive a childhood that they didn't even have. It's a nostalgia that didn't even exist that I want to have. So yeah, in a weird way, this thing is more exciting to me than the NES, Super NES Classic, definitely more interesting than the PS1 Classic, and almost on par with the Sega Genesis Classic. There's going to be a lot of stuff coming from this thing that I am extremely interested in seeing. So that's all we got for today. I'm not going to drag this video out. The PC Engine and TurboGrafx Mini have officially been announced, and I can't wait to hear more information once we get it. Let me know in the comments what games are best for this thing, because I'm not very familiar with the TurboGrafx-16, and I'd like to hear from you guys who may know more about this, what games I should be looking forward to and researching and hoping that make it onto this platform. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, you stay smashing. Smash.